right. That's that's why the solid PVA bags work so well, by the way. Yeah. Because you don't need the tubing, so you just put the solid bag on one, you know, three ounce lead on or whatever for the hook length about that long. Yeah. And off it goes. Yeah. And you think, well, yeah, all the pellets covered the lead. Of course, up it's covered rig. everything up, hasn't it? Yeah. And then you haven't got all that tubing stuck out. Yeah. You try two of them as a tester. Not oh, anything. Do it with with the tubing or without. But if it bothers your tangles, use a solid bag. Is mm. what I'm saying. Mm. Dispense with the tubing, or do one with tubing, one with lead core, and one with none. Yeah. And see how many bites you get on the three of them. On the three of them. And you know which one's going to be the best, don't you? Yeah, hundred percent. Right. There we go. And the other thing is with the tubing that I used to see underwater a lot, mm. and it used to make me cringe. Obviously, you get to a certain length of it. You keep a short length, and you got a bit of putty on there, and it's all right. You get to a longer length, and unless you physically run your hand across it mm. and squeeze the air out, it kinks up after about, well, mm. you can see it, it sort of comes up off the bottom, and that's quite frightening as well. When you mm. look at it, it gets this loop in it, it's like an air loop. Have you seen that before? Mm. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's one thing. What about lead core? What's your thoughts on lead core? Yeah, I mean, I, I much prefer lead core. I do. You think that's, when you've had the camera out, that's been inconspicuous? Yeah, I think it's, I'll I tell you what it is, you know, with a most lead core, they have the sort of microfibers, you see the silt and bits of debris and stuff, it tends to attach itself to the lead core more than that kind of real dense surface of the tubing. Mm. I've found that, you know, and obviously with a lead core, it does what it says, it's lead, it's heavy. Normally, you know, if you know what you're doing, you're feathering your cast down, you're not over any thin snags and stuff, it lays nice and flat. Mm. The tubing, the amount of time I see that kinked up, it does worry me a little bit. Right. You know, and again, just to go into another subject is um, water pressure. You know, obviously, mm. the deeper you go, you know, different things start to happen. I mean, it's something we've skirted upon in yeah. the pub, in it, in the past, you yeah. know. We live in one bar of pressure. You get straight into the water, you've got two bar of pressure. You're in 15 foot of water, there's three bar of pressure. So what's the point of testing your pop-up in the edge? I'm thinking, oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. That's gonna be beautiful. I've got it to this critical situation and then casting it into 15 foot. Yeah, that's, that's Boyle's law, isn't it? Yeah, well, you did. Pressure I, and mass. I remember you telling me that, which yeah, I've, I was quite yeah. impressed to say yeah, that, yeah. you know, we're just cool. Yeah. <laughs>